Okay, so next I have Councillor Cordover, then I have Councillor Reit, then Councillor Bastone. Councillor Cordover. Thank you, Mayor. My question is about single-use plastic. My question is, the Government's Recycling and Waste Reduction Bill 2020 is currently working its way through Federal Parliament, and the Bill establishes a framework to regulate the export of waste materials in line with an agreement to ban the export of waste plastic, paper, glass and tyres by the Council of Australian Governments in 2020, manage the environmental health and safety impacts of products, and particularly, in particular those impacts associated with the disposal of products uh, and provide voluntary, co-regulatory and mandatory product stu stewardship schemes. My question is, has our Council taken any steps towards helping local businesses to prepare for the potential phase-out and ban of the 10 most problematic single-use plastics found in marine life and in the ocean, in line with steps taken in the EU to end the use of harmful single-use plastic. This is things like lightweight carrier bags, microbeads, six-pack plastic ring holders, cotton buds, balloon sticks, straw stirrers, cutlery, non-compostable or recyclable plates, bowls and other dishes, polystyrene and food beverage containers. Uh, I know this question goes across a few areas. Uh, Mr. Mr. Reeve or Mr. Smee, which shall I? Uh, through you, Mayor. Um, yes, there's a lot of stuff that's actually happening in this space at the moment, and you'd be aware of the work that's been done at the state government level as well with the Draft Waste Action Management Plan, which is um, starting to get some traction now as well at the same time. So what we think is there will be some actions that will certainly come out of that process there uh, that will look at um, single-use plastics in particular um, and um, how councils and other organisations might be involved in actually um, assisting in that space as well at the same time. So it's a little bit of a, a wait and see at this stage there, um, but it is something that we know that we will have an active role to play going forward. Sorry, one further question on that. Thank you very much for that answer, and it is indeed very exciting. Um, through you, Mayor, what are some examples of what we might do to help facilitate businesses to make that change? Mr Reeve. You may, through our own waste management strategy there, you'll, you'll note that there's a number of things that um, look at um, education. There's education at lots of different levels, if you like, so it's not just about schools and the general community there, but it's also about businesses as well at the same time there. So I would um, suspect that we will take the lead from the state government in terms of how we would be involved as a council there and then we'd use um, the, the processes we have at the moment there to actually then go through um, a similar type of um, educational support process with um, businesses, particularly with some of the, um, the smaller businesses there that may not be necessarily in the, in the position to um, I guess enact some of these things themselves. So that's where Council, I think, can actually take a um, more of a lead role for those particular businesses. Uh, 